Hello, this is Noreen Crone Findlay from CroneFindlay.com and from ToddyTalksCrafts.com. Um, CroneFindlay.com is my website with my designs and patterns and books and things uh, that are available for people to purchase. And on ToddyTalksCrafts.com, I blog and I do all the support uh, material for these video tutorials. And I will be having quite a, a lot of photographs of the process that I use for making uh, tapestry bobbins. Now, my bobbins are not ones that would appeal to everybody, but that's okay. You know, everybody has their own taste. Now, yeah, so do go to my blog to see how it is that I make my bobbins. Well, since I'm talking about bobbins, here, I'll show you what I'm talking about with my bobbins. And I'm going to show you how to wind a butterfly, too. Now, these are the um, bobbins that I make. They are four to five inches uh, long, and they're... Each one is they're handmade, and they are they have a little sort of arrow at the bottom that I use to tap the um, weft down with. And here is how they look when they are all wound and filled up. Um, I always I quite like this one. This guy's like getting to the point, um, which I need to do too. So I will show you how I use recycled wood to make my tapestry bobbins. Now, there's kind of a... Oh, one, one last thing is that sometimes I make quite large bobbins. You can see these ones are easily twice the size of the smaller ones. And um, they're good for holding a larger amount and working uh, on larger spaces. Now, I was given a whole lot of the Paternion, I'm not sure how you say that, um, tapestry yarn. My mother was a magnificent needlewoman and uh, is no longer capable of doing that. And so I now have a ton of her um, yarns for that she used for doing cruel stitchery. And, uh, but I'm not a butterfly person for, I, I love butterflies, but I just don't like weaving with them. So I am gonna show you how to wind uh, a butterfly because there is a real trick to it. And one of the things that I like to do is I use a crochet hook at the end for a sneaky little technique. Oh. Um, this is not a bracelet, as you can obviously tell. It's a necklace that I beaded ever so long ago. It must be 26 years now. But I thought, since I'm doing the social networking um, for Merrick's Looms right now, I thought, oh, well, you know, they're, they're so beady. I would just wear a beady bracelet. Okay, now, when you're winding a butterfly... You will always be, you know, when you're, after you've got it wound, you're going to always work from your, uh, the, 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 the end that actually is coming from the inside and not the end that's around your wrap, because otherwise it'll make you crazy because it won't behave itself properly. And I always think of winding butterflies is a lot like being a Vulcan. And that is, if you can do this, like Spock did, that's great. If you can't, take your fingers and go, Mer. because having the Vulcan V is really handy for winding your butterflies. Because what you're going to do is you're going to park your first end. I'm going to move my necklace up here. You can park your first end between your index and um, middle finger. Okay? And now that's going to hold that in place. And your thumb and your uh, little and ring fingers, I'm just going to turn my cladoch so that it doesn't catch, are going to be what you wind on. Now here's the thing. 
and that is you don't want to be going randomly all over the place. What you're going to do is you're going to wind in a progression, an orderly progression, so that you're actually going up your thumb and fingers so that you don't ever wrap, don't go like over top like this because that is the butterfly kiss of death to it unwinding in a pleasing way for you. Okay, so I've gone to the point where I'm not going to be able to go any further. So now, here's where I get my crochet hook. I lay it across and kind of hold on to it with my thumb. I then scooch my winding end under and I go around all of my butterfly a couple of times and then I take it over the hook and here's the part that just is so nice is you just bring it back under the wraps and don't bring it all the way through because for one thing it makes it easier for you to see oh okay that's got the little loopy and that is what holds your butterfly in place. That's the body of your butterfly. And now your butterfly is going to unravel just like a thing of beauty. And you won't get any snaggle pusses. So say I, and then of course it's snaggle. There we go. No snaggles. So there you have it. Butterflies. Or in my case, bobbins. And you can go to my um, Tatati Talks Crafts. I'll post the actual um, link for the post that shows how I went from a kitschy, nasty little uh, plaque from a garage sale to a pile of lovely bobbins. So may there be joy in every day and may there also be yarn in your life. Happy weaving. Go gently. Talk to you soon.